Uh, but the, the, these, these kinds of things, little girls and boys around the world, this will be their first toy. And the images that we portrayed in this movie are gonna affect an entire generation of children. Me. I stand by my oath, loyalty to wishes three. <laughs> What up everyone, it's Kirtan Singh and I'm back with a brand new video. Today, we're reviewing the 2019 movie Aladdin. I really wasn't expecting much from it. After the first few teasers dropped, I was like, eh, this isn't gonna be that great. But then the first trailer came out and you know, I was getting excited for the movie. But I wasn't that excited for the movie itself. It was more so just watching a live action version of Aladdin. And I saw this movie today with my mate James and really, I was pretty blown away by the movie. If you asked me what I thought about the movie straight out of the cinemas, I would have given it a seven or an eight. But then that's because some aspects of the movie are just so bad that they're good. But I don't like thinking like that. I don't like saying that something so bad is good. I like to say something so bad that you can enjoy it, but I'm not gonna give it bonus points for being so bad. But with that said, there are plenty of things to actually talk about in this movie itself. First up, I, there's a lot to say regarding the acting. Honestly, biggest thing going into this movie was whether or not Will Smith's genie was going to be good. And really, it's great. I love Will Smith as the genie. Robin Williams has something about him that's really great and really funny. And he does all, all these impressions. But I think for um, the sake of a long-term viewing, I think Will Smith's genie will probably hold up more. Not in the terms of visual storytelling, because visually it's not the best and despite what I used for the cold open I really still do like um, Will Smith the genie. I think the references he makes, the jokes, the way he makes, the way he acts I think is going to hold up better in the long run because the, the Robin Williams version of the genie makes a lot of references but it doesn't really age well because I'm sure plenty of people see it and if it wasn't for how he was delivering the lines you might not actually understand the reference and you wouldn't get more of the inner jokes in it but Will Smith is really just fun, funny. The whole scene where Aladdin's trying to um, impress Jasmine after the, um, the whole Prince Ali song, it's hilarious. I was laughing out loud so much during this movie, during this scene alone. Like, I could ask my mate James and he, he would tell you, bam, I was like cracking up, I was slapping my leg, I was like going like this, leaning onto the side and everything. I really love that scene. The whole movie is so funny. The banter between characters is so great and the way that the chemistry that they have, all the actors, um, Mina Masood, I think his name is, um, I can't remember the actress for Jasmine, uh, but she's from um, Barry Riggs' movie and such, Will Smith, they all have such a good chemistry together. Jafar is a little miscast, I think he looks very weird with the hairstyle he has, and I get what they're kind of trying to do with the whole tone of his voice and stuff, but it doesn't really work. And the changes that they did make, for the most part, were really good and really necessary. I love how Jasmine is handled in this film, um, we were talking about it in the car and it it's obviously um, promoting the strong female idea but it's not really in, in your face and done in a way which many franchises and movies and shows try to do now that's really in your face and so poorly done but this just felt natural, it felt right. It aided to the plot and it just worked and apart from the only problem I had with the whole thing she does is the song she actually has speechless it felt too out of place with the rest of the music it felt more like a pop song than having that kind of a style that the other song had. And it's not a bad song, I just think it felt a little out of place. But I do love the scene where she's going to actually sing the song the second time. It's really well shot and really well executed and I think the acting in that scene is amazing. Honestly, acting all together is really good. I really buy, I really buy this actor as um, Aladdin. He is so damn good and I think it's amazing. I think Will Smith's a great genie. Um, I can't remember the girl's name right now. The actress's name, I can't remember it. But she's amazing as Princess Jasmine. Um, everything is just so well done. Will Smith's genie looks shockingly bad at some points, but other times he looks pretty good. The whole setup, the whole production behind the movie itself in regards to the physical props and the physical settings and stuff looks beautiful. And the subtle changes made with how Aladdin is captured by Jafar and how Aladdin actually comes out and um, reveals that Jafar is evil and stuff and how it all goes about. I think it works really well. I'm sure the film is 
a bit oddly placed at times but the way that it all just blends together also seems to work so well i love the cinematography for about 98 percent of the movie is really great visuals are good for about 80 90 percent of the movie are really good comedy is where this film succeeds that best it's so great with the comedy the acting so i feel like i'm just repeating myself apart from a few errors with the writing i think overall this is an improvement on the original but for the sake of the original being the original it's hard to take away from what it was and i realized this while i was watching the movie and my friend mentioned uh, saying that this is kind of like a bollywood movie but so the real cultural aspect of this movie are really well done there's a moment where they just have this dance scene and it's so well choreographed and it's so amazing the amount of things that they do here which doesn't really feel whitewashed in any way sure there are still some aspects which are but nonetheless this is so much more better than the original in that sense and i really enjoyed watching it it's got nothing on like actual bollywood movies this is like clearly very toned down compared to those but you could see those aspects there and it really created that environment even more and really added more to it now i can't stop talking about this movie and the writing and the characters and everything but i need to mention the mu uh, music sorry i already talked about speechless the song by i think actually her name is naomi i can't remember right now but anyway the actress for princess um jasmine that's a pretty good song didn't really feel like it suited but the rest of the music really had enough differences that it felt like changes were made but it still stuck well to the original some of the cgi was a little off at times but visually it was so entertaining the prince ali song the friend like me song even the speechless song i said earlier so visually entertaining and visually spectacular i really enjoyed it and you can tell that the the characters the actors and everyone is having fun on set especially at the end when they have that little dance number for no reason really they just have it and it's so spectacular i love watching it the music has a good blend of like the hip-hop style which will, will smith is known for obviously with the um whole kind of orchestral jazz kind of vibe of the other songs i really wish though for the prince ali song they had the moment where they burst out through the doors and everything but they had their own kind of version where they kind of got the sultan to um sultan sorry to um kind of get into the vibe as well and it's really good but the one problem biggest problem i would say with the singing would actually be will smith doesn't really have much vocally he's a good rapper and such but you know you could tell that his vocals weren't the best but it made up for it with how spectacular the visuals were go and watch this in cinemas because you know go support it because really this is probably the best live action version of a disney remake i've seen so far um not counting the jungle book because really you don't really count stuff like the jungle book and the lion king and i'm not really looking forward to the lion king so you know, I think this is going to be the best we're going to get in a long time because it's just so much fun, it's so enjoyable. So despite it being getting a low score of, you know, 6 out of 10 for me, it's a really good movie. I would recommend going to watch the cinemas, have a lot of fun with it, enjoy the moments which are really bad, but then really enjoy the moments which are really good because there's a lot of good and a lot of bad in here. It's just a good mixed package. So thanks for watching everyone. I hope you've enjoyed that video. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos every week. If you haven't seen Aladdin, make sure you go and watch it in cinemas right now because I would highly recommend that you watch this in cinemas itself. It's a really fun and enjoyable movie and you will love it. With that all said and done, I'll catch you all next time.